In October 2019, in Toronto, the English language translation of Volume 5 of Mikhailo Hrushevsky's History of Ukraine Rus was presented to an engaged and eager public at the Old Mill, Toronto. Metropolitan Dr. Boris Kudzak, a Harvard-educated historian, was the main speaker at the book launch. A pivotal role in the publication of the English-language Hrushevsky volumes has been played by Dr. Marco Robert Stech, who is the project manager of the Hrushevsky Translation Project at the Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies. The English-language volume set will total 10 volumes in 12 books when completed. An important and characteristic feature of every published volume is the cover art. Every cover features an authentic artifact from the time period covered by the text. Hi, Marco. Can you tell us about the impressive uh, cover illustration for Volume 5? What is the significance of the painting depicted on the front cover? Thank you, Tanya. It is really a very beautiful cover, and it at the same time is extremely meaningful. It depicts a very meaningful event in the history of Ukraine, and also a masterpiece of European art which depicts that event. This is a fragment of a painting depicting the Battle of Orsha, which took place in 1514, and in which the army of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and Ukraine Rus, led by the leading Ukrainian Rus Orthodox magnate of that time, Konstantin Ivanovich Ostrovsky, who was the primarily military commander of his time, who, with a relatively small army, defeated a much larger Muscovite army. And this was the time when Muscovy started to what we would now call the expansion of the Ruski Mir, when, when the uh, Principality of Moscow began to to infringe on the lands of Ukraine and the lands of Belarus and try to incorporate them into the Grand Duchy of, of uh, Muscovy. And this battle stopped that expansion on that time. Unfortunately, later there were other battles which were not as successful. But what is also important is that this is a painting by a master of European painting. Uh, well, no, not a master himself, but his school. It is the school of Lukas Kranach, uh, the, the master German Renaissance painter who painted the scene because this event was not only important for Ukraine, Belarus, but it was extremely important for Europe at that time. So this is one of the examples showing how Ukrainian history was at the same time at the center of European history of its time. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Tanya Stech and this was Ukraine in the News.